an object from interstellar space is doing something that should be impossible. The 3i divided by Atlas has a tail pointing toward the solar center, defying all the laws of physics we know. And now, for the first time in history, NASA has activated planetary defense protocols for an interstellar visitor. Professor Avi Loeb from Harvard is no longer speculating. He's saying it directly. This could be alien technology. And on October 29th, when this object reaches perihelion, we'll discover the truth. But here's what nobody is talking about. During all this time, space agencies around the world are collecting data and maintaining absolute silence. Why? The impossible phenomenon. Let's understand why this is so disturbing. Normal comets work like this. The solar center heats the icy nucleus, material evaporates, solar wind pushes this material away from the solar center, forming the tail. It's basic physics we've known for centuries. The three I divided by Atlas was doing exactly the opposite. Its tail was pointing toward the solar center as if being pushed against the solar wind. It's like seeing a car driving forward with exhaust smoke coming out the front. Avi Loeb was intrigued and tried to explain this in two scientific papers, but admitted it's not a simple explanation because we don't know if there's dust around this object. Two scientific papers and he still couldn't explain it. Then, in September, something even more extraordinary happened. The tail simply reversed out of nowhere. Within days, it began behaving like a normal tail, pointing away from the solar center, as if someone had flipped a switch and changed the operating mode. Images from the Nordic Optical Telescope documented this impossible transition. You can see the evolution, anti-tail in July, persisting in August, and suddenly turning into a normal tail in September. Terrifying size and anomalous composition. But the story gets even more frightening when we look at the numbers. Avi Loeb calculated something that completely changed our perspective on this object. He declared, even more alarming is its size, the fact that it's at least a thousand, maybe even a million times more massive than previous interstellar objects, the first and second ones. To put this in perspective, Oumuamua was about 100 meters. The three I divided by Atlas is kilometers in length. It's like comparing an ant to an elephant. We're not talking about a small difference. It's a difference that screams something is fundamentally wrong here. And when the James Webb Telescope analyzed its composition, the results were bizarre. 87% carbon dioxide, 9% carbon monoxide, only 4% water. Typical comets are mainly water ice with dust. Dirty snowballs, as scientists usually say. But this? This looks more like the composition of a chemical propulsion system than a natural comet. The moment of truth, October 29th. Here comes the part that should make all of us lose sleep. Avi Loeb identified a specific moment that could change human history. He explained, this is the best point to have a maneuver to use an engine that would give impulse to the object in the direction of its movement. In this case, it would gain kinetic energy or do the reverse. In this case, the object would break and maybe even release some mini probes toward the planets if it's technological. October 29th, perihelion, the closest point to the solar center. If this object contains alien technology, this is the exact moment an advanced civilization would use to perform gravitational maneuvers. And here's the most disturbing part. At this exact moment, the object is in our blind spot, hidden behind the solar center. We can't observe it from Earth. What convenient timing for a craft that doesn't want to be observed during critical maneuvers. If the three I divided by Atlas accelerates, decelerates, or releases smaller objects on October 29th, we'll only find out weeks later when it emerges from the other side of the solar center. Impossible trajectory? This object's trajectory defies all statistical probabilities. Avi Loeb made an observation that should put us all on alert. He said, the most intriguing aspect of this object is that its trajectory is in the plane of the planets, and it's coming quite close to three planets, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. And this suggests perhaps it has some purpose. Purpose? use the word purpose. The probability of a random object from interstellar space following exactly the ecliptic plane where all planets orbit is one inch 500. But passing close to three specific planets, Mars, where we have rovers and orbiters, Venus, our closest neighbor, Jupiter, the gas giant that dominates the outer solar system, the odds become astronomically remote. It's exactly the route a reconnaissance mission would follow, visiting the strategic points of interest in our solar system Total information blackout. Here the situation becomes 
truly sinister. When you have potential evidence of the most important discovery in human history, what do you do? Share it with the world, right? Wrong. Apparently, you hide everything. Avi Loeb is being blocked from accessing crucial data. He revealed, we're still waiting for the high resolution camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter because of the NASA shutdown. We haven't had access to this data. It should be the best resolution image, three times better in pixel resolution than the Hubble Space Telescope image we had. Government shutdown for comet data. Scientific data doesn't stop for political issues, never unless this data is considered too sensitive for public release. And there's more. For the first time in history, NASA activated planetary defense protocols for an interstellar object. These protocols were created for asteroids on collision course with Earth. The three I divided by Atlas is leaving the solar system. Why activate planetary defense for something that poses no impact risk? The answer is obvious. They're not worried about collision. They're worried about what this object might do. Active search for alien signals? Avi Loeb isn't just theorizing. He's actively looking for evidence of alien technology and has access to the equipment to do it. He revealed, we have the Juno spacecraft that I spoke with the principal investigator of Juno, Scott Bolton, and he told me they'll use their radio antenna to also look for any radio emission from this object. And of course, if we detect any, that would be a technological signature as well. The Juno spacecraft, positioned near Jupiter, is literally pointing its antennas at the three eye divided by Atlas, looking for transmissions, looking for signs that this is a machine transmitting data. Imagine the implications if they detect something. If this object is sending information somewhere in interstellar space, information about what? About us? About our solar system? About our technology? And where would these transmissions be going? To whom? The International Asteroid Warning Network also launched an unprecedented campaign. Avi Loeb explained, it will establish a campaign coordinating observations from around the globe, trying to get as much data as possible about the movement of this object. Observatories worldwide have been mobilized. Global astronomical resources redirected. This has never happened for an interstellar object. Never. Suspicious timeline. When you analyze the complete temporal sequence, the pattern becomes impossible to ignore. July 2025. Three I divided by Atlas develops impossible anti-tail pointing toward the solar center. Contradicts all known physical laws. The anti-tail persists. Scientists try to explain, fail. Abrupt transition. The tail reverses instantly as if a system had been activated. Object enters solar blind spot. Perfect timing to avoid observation. October 29th, perihelion. Theoretically ideal moment for gravitational maneuvers. November, December, emergence from blind spot, moment of truth. December 19th, maximum approach to Earth. Each event happens at the exact moment an alien reconnaissance mission would execute. The precision is frightening. And during this entire period, worldwide space agencies have intensified monitoring, but maintain silence about their discoveries. China, United States, Europe, Japan, all collecting data, all silent. The moment of revelation. Avi Loeb identified December as the period that could define humanity's future. He declared, during December, on December 19th, it will come closest to Earth, and this will be a week before Christmas, we could receive the gift of seeing the best image of it from Earth. December 19th, one week before Christmas. What kind of gift would that be? Confirmation that we're not alone in the universe? Here's what makes December so crucial. Any activity the three I divided by Atlas executes during October's perihelion will only be detectable when it emerges from the solar blind spot in December. If the object accelerates, decelerates, changes trajectory, or releases smaller objects in October, we'll only find out in December. It's like watching a movie two months late, but a movie that could change human history. Imagine the scenario. Christmas Eve, families gathered, and suddenly NASA makes an announcement. We confirm technological activity in the three I divided by Atlas object. We are not alone. It would be the biggest plot twist in human history. Accumulated evidence. Let's recap the accumulating evidence. One. Impossible physical behavior. Anti-tail contradicting basic laws of physics. Two, abrupt change. 
Instantaneous behavioral transition like system activation. Three, anomalous size, one million times larger than known interstellar objects. Four, suspicious composition, chemistry more compatible with propulsion than natural comet. Five, planned trajectory, statistically impossible route visiting strategic points. Six, perfect timing, entry into blind spot at ideal moment for unobserved maneuvers. Seven, protocol activation, first time in history planetary defense activated for interstellar object. Eight, data restriction, unprecedented blocking of scientific information. Nine, signal search, active efforts to detect technological transmissions. Ten, global mobilization, unprecedented international coordination of observatories. Individually, each piece of evidence could have a natural explanation, but altogether, the probabilities become infinitesimally small. The implications. If Avi Loeb is correct, if the three I divided by Atlas is really extraterrestrial technology, the implications are monumental. First, confirmation of intelligent life beyond Earth. Humanity's most fundamental question finally answered. Second, evidence of technology capable of interstellar travel. A civilization with unimaginable technological capabilities. Third, they found us. We weren't the ones who made first contact. They came to us. Fourth, they're studying us. The trajectory suggests a reconnaissance mission, data collection about our solar system. They may be reporting. If we detect transmissions, it means they're sending information about us somewhere. This would change philosophy, religion, science, politics, everything. Our perception of our place in the universe would be fundamentally altered. And maybe that's exactly why the data is being restricted. Maybe authorities are trying to understand the implications before revealing it to the world. The courage of truth. Avi Loeb is risking everything to tell us this. His academic reputation, his position at Harvard, his standing in the scientific community. He declared, we would like to know as much as possible about its future path, about the nature of the material coming out of it. It's the beauty of doing science. But doing real science means being willing to consider uncomfortable possibilities. And few scientists have the courage to speak publicly about alien life. Loeb has that courage. And he's coordinating independent observations because he doesn't trust that official agencies will be transparent. Conclusion. Two possibilities exist. Either we're witnessing the most statistically impossible natural phenomenon in the history of astronomy, or we've detected our first evidence of extraterrestrial technology visiting our solar system. NASA has activated protocols never used before. Worldwide agencies have mobilized unprecedented resources. Data is being restricted. Scientists are actively looking for signs of alien technology. On October 29th, the three I divided by Atlas reaches perihelion. If it's a spacecraft, that's when it will make its maneuvers. In December, we'll discover if we're alone in the universe, or if we never were. The answer is coming, and it might arrive as a Christmas gift that changes everything. Keep your eyes on the sky. History is being written now.